Hi, this is question 5 from the AQA Core 2 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to pause it and um, have a go at the question yourself. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. For the next part of the video, I'm going to go over um, a hint to how you can go about answering this question. Now, there's lots of parts to this question, so um, you have to bear with me. Okay, so. Um, the point um, P lies on a curve um, and the point M is the only stationary point on the curve. So this curve has got this equation here. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to find dy by dx. So we want to differentiate this. Now it might make it a little bit easier if you write this um, in, in a different form. Um, so you want to write it as 8x to the power of something. Um, and that will help you um, when it comes to differentiating. T remember, to differentiate, we um, we multiply by the power and then we take away one from the power. Okay, part B says show that the normal to the curve um, has this equation here. So um, we first of all want to use this to work out what the gradient to the tangent of um, of the curve at this at point P would be. Once we know what the gradient to the tangent at the, at the tangent, sorry, the gradient of the tangent at this point is, um, we can then use that information to work out um, what the gradient of the normal is. We can then use this along with um, the fact that we know that point P is at the coordinates two eight um, to put together an equation and, and manipulate it to look like this here. Part C. Um, we want to show that the stationary point M lies on the x-axis. So um, what we're looking for is um, for, for it to be a stationary point, there's something specific that's going to happen um, to our gradient here. And part two of that is um, write down the equation of the tangent um, to the curve M. Well, um, once we know this spe specific thing that's going to happen to the gradient at the stationary point, we can use that information to help us decide um, what the equation of the tangent at M is going to be. Part D um, says the tangent to the curve um, at M and the normal to the curve at P intersect at the point T um, and we want to find the coordinates of T. So once we know the equation um, to the tangent at M and we also know the equation um, to the normal at P um, we should be able to use simultaneous equations to solve this last part. Okay, so um, those are my hints. Um, if you'd like to now pause the video and see if you can answer the question yourself now. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. Um, I'm now going to go through the answer um, to the question. So, I'm just going to create a little bit more room for myself. So I'm going to start off, off by looking at part A. We wanted to differentiate this. And now what we said is we were going to write this in a different form, first of all. So I'm going to rewrite this as y is equal to um, 6 plus 2x take away 8 x to the power of negative 2. Okay, so now I can differentiate this by saying that dy by dx is going to be equal to um, so I'm going to get 6 disappears, so 2 plus 16 multiplying by that um, x to the, take 1 off the power, x to the minus 3 and there you go, so um, that's part A. Okay, part B. We want to show that the normal to the curve at this point here has this equation. So, um, first of all, I'm going to work out the gradient um, of the tangent at this point here. So, to do that, um, I'm going to put this into my gradient function. So, x is 2. So, that means when, when x is 2, 
then dy by dx is going to be equal to, and if I put that into here, I've got 2 plus 16, and that's going to be um, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so 2 to the power of negative 3 is 1 8, so 16 times 1 8 is going to be 2, so I've got 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. Now this here is the gradient of the tangent. What we want is we want the normal to the curve. So I'm going to write down my equation and it's going to be y is equal to mx plus c where m is the normal. So if that's the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, the normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of this. So it's going to be minus a quarter x plus c. Now I know a point that it passes through, it passes through the point 2, 8 so I can put in x is 2 and y is 8 and that will help me work out what c is so I've got 8 is equal to minus a quarter times by 2 which is going to be minus a half plus c which tells me that c is going to be equal to and I'll write it as 8.5 yeah okay right so um, I want to have it in this form here x plus 4 y is equal to 34 so if I put c back into here I've got y is equal to minus a quarter x plus 8.5 and it, I need to um, have it as a whole number of x so I'm going to multiply everything by 4 so I've got 4y is equal to minus x plus and um, that's going to be 34 so um, 4y we'll write it as x plus 4y is equal to 34 as we've been asked to find Okay, and there you go for that bit. Right, um, for the next part, we've asked to um, show that the stationary point M lies on the x-axis. So I'm just going to tidy up my work a bit. Okay, to find the stationary point, um, I need my gradient to be equal to zero. So at my stationary point, um, dy by dx, is going to be equal to is going to be equal to zero, and we worked out our gradient function, which is this here. So that means that two plus sixteen, um, and I'm going to write it as sixteen over x cubed is equal to zero. And if I rearrange this, I can see that. Um, 16 over x cubed is equal to negative 2 so that's going to be 2 so x cubed is going to be equal to 16 divided by minus 2 is negative 8 so x has to be equal to negative 2 ok so, um, so now we know the x coordinate of our stationary point we now need to find the y coordinate so I can sub this into this here to find what y, my y coordinate is going to be so I've got y is equal to 6 plus 2 times minus 2 which is take away 4 and then we've got take away 8 over negative 2 squared which is 4 so 8 over 4 is 2 and 6 take away 4 take away 2 gives me 0 so um, the stationary point um, lies on the x-axis because it passes through the point negative 2 0 and um, that shows that it lies on the x-axis ok so we can say therefore lies on the x-axis Okay, um, part two. 
says hence write down the equation of the tangent to the curve at m so um, because it's a stationary point then it's going to have a horizontal tangent um, and because that tangent lies on the line y equals zero then the stationary point must also have the equation y equals zero so for c part two down here the equation of tangent is going to be y equals zero okay um part d okay part d um says the tangent to the curve at m and the normal to the curve at p intersect at the point t so we want to find the coordinates of the point t so I'm going to write down my two equations. We had y equals 0. So that's, um, that's the tangent to the curve at m. Um, and the normal to the curve at p has the equation um, x plus 4y is equal to 34. So um, at point t, I know that the y coordinate is going to be 0 so I can sub that into here so I've got x plus from 4 lots of 0 0 equals 34 which tells me that x is going to be equal to 34 so that tells me the coordinates of the point t is going to be x is going to be 34 and y is going to be 0 and there we have that there Right, you can stop there if you like. Um, I'm just going to go over to Autograph and I'm just going to explore this question a little bit more just so you've got a good idea as to what's actually gone on and what's happened. So, um, right, so um, we started with um, our equation 6 plus 2x take away 8 over x squared, which is what I've plotted over here and it gives us this graph here. Um, we found the gradient function and then we wanted to show that the normal to the curve at the point 2, 8 had equation x plus 4y is equal to 34. So um, what this was telling us to do is use the point 2, 8, um, which is this point here. And we wanted to show that the normal um, to this um, curve at this point um, had this equation here, x plus 4y is equal to 34. Now if I plot in the line x plus 4y equals 34 you should be able to see that actually this is a normal um, to the curve at this particular point it's basically perpendicular um, to any tangent at this point okay so that's cool um, and then part c we're showing that the stationary point m lies on the x-axis well you can see here straight away that the stationary point m this point here does actually lie on the x-axis and we found the coordinates to this point to be in negative 2 0 which, which is which is what it is um, and then we were um, wanted to write down the equation um, of the tangent to the curve at m so the tangent at this place is just going to be a horizontal line and we decided that horizontal line had the equation y equals 0 which it does, there you go, that's quite clearly a tangent to the curve at, at the stationary point. And then part D, um, we found the tangent to the curve at M, which is this purple line, and the normal to the curve at P, which is the blue line, intersect at a point T, and we had to find the coordinates of the point T. And if I move this along, um, we should be able to see um, that the, where they intersect is actually at 34 0 which is um, actually what we managed to find okay so um, there you go um, I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you again next time